Hello, I'm Zoe. I'm the tipsy sidekick, and today I'm going to take the rest of this shot. For some reason, I really like to savor these. New Amsterdam mango flavored vodka. So sweet. Not really a sweet kind of gal. Well, I am like so sweet, you know, personality wise. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about a cusp, the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. In this video, we're gonna talk about the love life of this cusp, the overall love life. Remember, we'll go into different compatibilities with different signs in another video or other videos. You're very, very passionate and perceptive and observant, which is great for being a good partner right because you listen you see if someone's in need but you also burn bridges fairly easily like you're always burning bridges you're terrible at goodbyes you end up being at odds with people you go things are going really well and then you end up being you know in a fight or having to leave or things not working out and you have to burn bridges and that's something that a lot of people learn over time but unfortunately for you it takes a lot of effort to not burn bridges and um, it's part of your regrets, your heartbreak, it builds who you are, the people who you meet along the way. You could be the heartbreakers of the zodiac. You are emotional and can become quite negative even being the self-martyr. You feel like you have to take care of your loved one, like it's your responsibility. You are a hopeless romantic. You fantasize about true love. You can be very shy at times and you may come across that way so people might not really be able to read you because you're not a verbal communicator. You prefer to communicate and express your love in other ways, whether that's art, poetry, you know, something that isn't necessarily a conversation, you're pretty good at expressing yourself creatively. You feel more deeply, so you can, you feel more deeply, so you need to be able to protect your heart. That's the way it works. You're very good with people, and you're very passionate, and often you date people who are like way older than you, or way younger than you. You like dating people who are new, who are authentic. You don't want someone who you've dated before, or acts like someone you've dated before. You like trying something completely new when it comes to love. You don't date the same type twice. You're very attractive to people and they love having you in their life. Your dates always admire how practical you can be. But ultimately in dating, you choose who you date. And yes, you can be pretty picky about that. It's your right. You make sacrifices when you love someone. You're not afraid to walk away if they're unhappy. Their happiness comes first before anything. And so if they're unhappy and something's not working out, for them and for you, you will walk away when it comes down to it. You're very easy to love, you are authentic, you are quirky, you are fun, and you have really interesting life philosophies. So you need someone who will appreciate your life philosophies. You need to date someone who is equally as quirky as you. You don't necessarily have a specific type of partner. What's important is that they have the traits that you need. They have to be deep. You have to have a very intense relationship with them and you also need a really good listener. You like to vent, so you need someone who will balance you out. You're very intense and it's really important to find a balance between the two of you. You can actually do long distance relationships. I mean, yes, it's important to be close together and you couldn't do it forever. You're one of the most likely signs to be in a long distance relationship because you will fight for your love. You are okay with being single for a while. If that means that, you know, it takes time to find true love, that's fine for you. You're not gonna rush into every single relationship. You have an interesting view on the world and you definitely need a relationship that is constantly changing and evolving. You like helping out around the house. You can also start a lot of drama and make a scene if you're not being heard. You like trying to figure people out and understand them. You often date people with mental problems or you yourself suffer from depression or mood swings. You have an addictive personality, so you have to be careful if there's something that 
you might get addicted to, you probably will get addicted to it if you're not careful. You have a very addictive personality. You can't control others. The only person you can control is yourself. You need to get along. It makes it hard for you to be in fights with people or be at odds because when it comes to your partner, you need things to work and you hate being at odds with them. What makes this difficult is that you also have a very stubborn side to you, especially when it comes to your perspective and your point of view. It's conflicting because you also have like a lot of pride in yourself and you do have an ego. Sometimes your partner can forget how sensitive you are because you do seem so put together as opposed to the average really watery Pisces. You can make dating very awkward. You might come on way too strong. Once you're actually in a relationship, procrastination can be like your worst trait and your worst nightmare, and that can really cause a lot of conflict. So when you start to get too comfortable, you might start procrastinating and that is not okay. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. It was awesome. Let me know if you're an Aquarius Pisces and if this applies to you, subscribe to my channel and you guys are awesome. Oh my God.